Hey, what's going on? Big C Richie here, aka Richie, and today we are going to do our top five shooting guard countdown. Now, there are a lot more shooting guard diamond cards in this game. It's a lot more diverse than I would say the point guard. You see pretty much the same point guards on every team Kyrie, Curry, Westbrook, um, Magic. I mean, you see basically the same point guards, but with shooting guards, it's, it's a lot more diverse. There's a lot more selection, so you definitely see a lot more variety. But we're going to name the top five. There are going to be some people that I know thought should have made the list, but didn't. Um, right away, T Mac did not make this list. He's too similar to the purple Amethyst Vince Carter. I'm going to let you know that right now. And then I am going to name an honorable mention that did not make the list J.R. Smith. He's got great defense, great driving dunk, great offense, but the killer and which knocked him off the list, he's got a 68 or somewhere in the 60s free throw. So that right there just got him booted him off the list, but um, he is an honorable mention, so I'll name that right now. But now it's time to hop into the top five. Let's go. Number five. Alright, coming in at number 5 is Jimmy Butler. Jimmy! Jimmy is amazing, guys. He's 6'7", and not only that, he's so well-rounded. He's got everything. He's got speed. He's got offense. He's got defense. 97 standing layup. He's got a 95 driving. 99 draw foul. That is a gem in itself right there, ladies and gentlemen. 90 standing mid-range. 88 three ball 94 free throw and then we come down here to his defense where he's got an 82 steal 95 defensive consistency 93 on ball and then his speed is a 94 84 acceleration stamina a 98 guys there is no doubt in my mind that this card deserves a top five pick i feel like if he had a better picture other than this face picture i don't know what he's doing in that like i don't know why you'd ever make that face in a basketball game but uh yeah i think if he had a better picture this car would be way more respected and it was the first moments diamond that came out so it's definitely the oldest diamond so it doesn't get as much clout as it should but no problem making my top five for the shooting guards let's head on down to number four All right, coming in at number four is the brand new 98 overall Dwayne Wade. 6'4", 98 standing layup, 98 driving layup. He's got a nice mid-range at a 97, decent three-pointer, 84. It's good, not great. Great ball control. He's got amazing defense at an 80 on defensive but on ball at a 92 so the defensive consistency is a little bit lower but good on ball defense which is the main stat you want to be worried about and then his driving dunk is a 90 so he is more balanced um the main thing that i love about this card also is going to be his speed 97 96 is that with shoe no shoe so that is unbelievably fast um, he's just well-rounded. I, I would say the three-pointer is why I put him a little bit lower on the list. He is a 98 overall, but with that three-pointer being a little bit lower and a 74th free throw, 74th free throw is pretty damn bad. I mean, that you're going to miss. You're going to probably make six or seven out of ten. You're definitely going to miss a couple that could come into play in a crunch time moment. So I have no problem putting him in number four, but he is going to share this number four with someone else. I'll go in the details here in one sec. Sharing the number four spot with my main man, Dwayne Wade, is going to be this Diamond Vince Carter. Now, I'm having him share it because Vince Carter is traditionally a small forward. All the rest of his cards are small forward, but for some reason, obviously, I guess he played shooting guard at this time during he played for the Raptors. So we might as well include him. Um, I have a 98 standing layup, 96 driving layup, draw foul in of an 85, great mid-range at a 90, a great three-pointer. I believe it's a 96 or 97 regular. I'm not sure. It's a 96. Okay. So yeah, 96 three-pointer, 93 free throw. The only thing I don't like about this card is he doesn't have the greatest defense. 80s are not bad, but they're not great either. So a little more towards the offensive end of a card. 
obviously you know his main selling point is going to be his 99 driving dunk and his speed but having that great offense too is amazing just the defense as long as you can play good on ball defense it really doesn't matter but with having lower defensive stats he's going to share the number four spot and i'm having him share it like i said because he's not traditionally a shooting guard but this particular card is so we're gonna let it slide let's hop on into number three Coming in at number three is the MVP 98 overall Michael Jordan. Now it was so close between two and three for the two cards that I chose, but Michael did fall to the three position just because of a particular stat and I'll go over that later, but he does have a 98 standing layup, 98 driving layup. He has a nice mid range of a 98 and here is the stat, 78 three pointer. guys. I have to have my shooting guard with all capabilities of shooting. It has shooting in the name. He's got to be able to shoot the three ball. The only way you are raising this three pointer is if you glitch a three point shoe and most are not going to be able to do that. My shooting guard needs to be able to shoot. Enough said. 78, he's going to make six or five out of 10 in my opinion. Um, that is really why he dropped. Other than that, he's amazing everywhere else. 83 free throw. Great passing. His defense is absolutely insane. Um, he's got 98 defensive consistency, 99 on-ball defense. Um, his speed is a, an 87, 89, so it's a little bit lower. It's not in the 90s, which is still great. Don't get me wrong, but it's not in the 90s like some of the other dudes. Um, 96 vertical, and then he's got a 99 stamina. But just that three-pointer, uh, I don't know. It just it just got me in some type of way. A 97 driving dunk. I don't know if I went over that, but just that three-pointer just comes down to I need my shooting guard to be able to shoot the three. Um, and that's just a priority for me. So we had to put him at number three. And by the way, guys, I don't know if I mentioned this. We are not including the collection reward Michael Jordan while we're on the topic of Michael Jordans. We are not including the 99 Michael Jordan collection reward in this list. That is a card that is basically, I think, only 15 people in the game. I'm, I Don't quote me on that, but I'm guessing around 15 people have that card. It's extremely hard to get. It costs thousands of dollars. It takes hours and hours of time to collect that many. I'm not going to include it. It's just a card that is unreachable to most. It would be number one on the list, but because it's not reachable to most, I'm not going to include it. But this MVP Jordan, number three, the collection reward would be number one, but I'm not going to include him on this list. Well, let's move on to number two. All right, coming in at number two is the Diamond 97 overall playoff edition, Clay Thompson. 6'7", so decent sized shooting guard, a little bit oversized, I would say. He could even play small forward if he had to with that size. But 98 standing layup, 92 driving layup, 85 post fadeaway, which is not bad at all. He's got a 97 mid-range and a 99 three-pointer. A 99 three-pointer. Guys, this is what you need in a shooting guard, a shooter. Now, all other Klay Thompson cards are not as good as this one because this one has one key stats. It's got the speed of an 86-85. Glitch a speed shoe onto this one. That's not as hard to do as the three-point shoe. But look at his defense. 95-94. Well-rounded. He even has a driving dunk of a 70. So that's not terrible, but I need my shooting guard to shoot. Why I put him over Jordan. Just a 99 three ball, a butter release, really easy. This card is so well-rounded other than the driving dunk. He's got nice driving layups, so he can still make contact stuff like that. But with the defense, the offensive scoring, and the speed, this card is an absolute nightmare for anyone he's going up against. I put him at my number two. Don't hate me for that. I know. MJ was a way better player than Klay Thompson. But I'm putting him, as far as playability in the game, Klay's got to take number two. Now, it's probably no question to who's number one. But we're going to go over him anyways. Let's hop into number one. Alright, really no shocker on this one for shooting guards. Who's number one? 
this Kobe Bryant man he really does it all he's so versatile he does everything you need in a shooting guard he's got the offense he's got the defense good driving dunk 98 draw foul that I see already not even getting into any of the other stats of so the standing layup 97 driving layup 98 post fadeaway in 85 the mid-range at 97 the three ball 95 and that's why I put him at number one he's got great three ball he's got great driving dunk actually more good driving dunk than great but at least good driving dunk 92 free throw and then he's got amazing defense 82 steal on ball defense at 94 95 defensive consistency standing dunk at 35 which is ouch but a driving dunk of an 80 and then you got his speed with the speed shoe on and in the 90s it's stamina in 98 guys this card is absolutely without a doubt other than the collection reward Jordan like I said which we aren't including in this list is the best shooting guard in this game that you can buy from the auction house again I hope you guys are enjoying this series I am gonna do small forward power forward and center but they're not gonna be right back to back to back like I said I am gonna pepper in some more gameplay videos some more challenge videos and then we'll eventually get to small forward and power forward and center but I do want to get them out sooner than later because obviously this game is losing momentum. It's been dead for a while. Before it absolutely dies, I want to make sure you guys know what cards are out there. And so you guys can eventually try these cards out later on down the road. But again, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I really do appreciate all the love. You guys have been absolutely phenomenal. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Give the video a thumbs up and Richie Nation. Already on.